gonna test her out and see if she's gonna work. Ha ha! All right, don't be jealous of my awesome chainsaw, okay? Hey guys, I'm just playing around with my my steel GTA 26 and um, I wanted to show you how to fix it if it stops running. I'm trying to, this is a little safety here, and this is your, your uh, trigger switch. So you push down on that and you pull that, nothing's happening, it's not working batteries in it but if you get up close you can see can you see those teeth they're not in the groove where they're supposed to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my battery out if I can do this one-handed hang on you're going to go crazy Ooh. okay battery's gone out no battery separate this is like a little clean out. Sometimes what happens is you get a stick that goes in there or up in this part and it jams it up and then it messes with the chain. But I also think that it may be loosening up on me and I'm not sure how to tighten it. I'll have to look it up. But oh yeah, see all the crud? This is the bottom of the, of the little little door so yeah got all that crud in there see I don't know if you can see in there but there's some little pieces so to do it's like a little sprocket here that the chain goes around I think that's the name of it that's what I would call it is a sprocket kind of looks like one it's kind of stuck in there there we go Get it off there. So now it's off. You get your bar. Get rid of that guy. Got your bar here. And then your chain. But this is where it goes into. It's a little dirty. It's kind of dirty out here. All right, that spins. So now, so I didn't think this through because I always say, why do people do videos one-handed when you could easily use a tripod to hold it so that you'd have two hands. Well, I'll tell you what, when you're out here doing stuff, you don't think to bring your tripod because I wasn't planning on videoing what I was doing. But now that that's cleaned out, I'm just putting the, the bar and I got the chain back on in the groove where it's supposed to go. And now I'm just putting it around the sprocket. Hopefully you saw that, went right around. 
All right, so it's seated in there nice. Nice and tight and flat. I've got, oh yeah, I've got turkey supervisor over here. They like to come over and see what I'm up to. All right. I'm just going to kind of blow that out a little bit. And you put this back on. It's got these little grooves. Sits right back down in there. Um, this is just on the fly type of deal. That's why I didn't have anything out here with me. <sighs> or I would have put it on a tripod and showed you a little better than being all crazy. All right. So that's all in there. All nice. And that's in there. Moves free now. Was stuck. So now we're gonna take the we're gonna take the battery. Put it back in. And we're gonna test her out and see if she's gonna work. Ha ha! All right. Don't be jealous of my awesome chainsaw. Okay. My handheld. Look at this guy. This thing is adorable, and it works slick as poop. I know, harsh, harsh language. This is your battery life. You push it. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. We got, I don't know if you can see, we've got two green. So that'll cut for a little bit longer. Wanted to tell you guys about this steel GTA 26 uh, garden pruner. Um, it works great. I love it. I uh, got it for my birthday in June, so I wanted to use it throughout the summer and see how I liked it um, and kind of see about some of the complaints people had about them. Really, the major complaint people had was that the battery didn't last long enough. Um, it doesn't last very long, 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, it all depends on what you're cutting. If it's just like a, um, you know, under four inches or under piece of wood, uh, tree, whatnot, limb, um, it'll last you a good 20 minutes, I think, uh, cutting that up and, and, uh, trimming limbs and whatever else you got going on around the around the yard um takes about two hours to charge um and i tried to get an extra battery to see if you know while this one's charging i could run the other one and um you can't get the batteries right now even uh the steel dealers where you get these um, they can't get them either. They're, we're on the list to let us know when they can get them in. They were kind of surprised when we told them that we're having trouble with that. Um, and they thought they could go right on and clickety click and make it happen and can't, can't get them. Uh, chains you can get between, uh, 10 and $15, depending on where you go. Um, 
and I would recommend getting an extra one. Uh, this comes in a box. Inside that box is a, another, like a Velcro box. I'll put some pictures in uh, as I'm talking so you can see what I'm talking about. It's got some elastic straps in there and some pockets. Uh, and it holds your bottle of oil. It holds your charger, um, which comes with it, your battery. Uh, and it holds this. It's got all kinds of pockets. It's got two grommets on the top. I hang it up in my stairway, put all this together in there with it, and um, I can just go grab it whenever I need it and go. Uh, it works great for that. Um, I really like it. I definitely would recommend it if you have little things to do around the house, pruning and limb, you know, some smaller limbs to clean up. Um, I definitely, definitely would would buy one if I were you. Uh, they go between 160 to $180 for the kit with the charger, the battery, the little bottle of oil, um, and uh, uh, you know, it, it works, it works great. Um, I really like it, it's handy. I clean up a lot of things around here. Um, and I'm really happy with it. So I definitely would recommend it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you have one, you have any, you know, anything you'd like to add about these um, or anything you'd like to know, put it right down in the comments. We'll see what we can do to answer your questions if you have any. And um, I wouldn't hesitate to get one if you had the money and you were looking for something to work on, um, you know, just for your fire pit, uh, work on your trails, you know, your four wheel trails, your walking trails, hiking trails, um, just to, to trim up and clean up some limbs and stuff. Uh, this would be great around the, um, you know, putting your tree stand up. There we go. I was trying to think of the word, put your tree stand up, um, and you need, you have some limbs in your way and you want to trim those out, some trees. Um, this would work really great for that and it would go right in your backpack. It's about three pounds um, with the battery, 3.1 pounds or something like that. Uh, so it's not really, it's pretty well balanced. Um, they did a pretty good job balancing that so it feels good in your hand. Um, there's no, you know, you're not going to make it go off just by clicking the trigger here. It's, uh, you got to push down on the safety and the trigger at the same time. Um, it's got the the four inch bar and chain. You got your cover for it. You've got your your um, safety cover for for you know when you're cutting a tree. It it lifts up so it doesn't pop back on you. Um, oil it every time you go to use it. Oil that chain just like I showed you earlier um, and clean out the little box like I showed you earlier clean that little box out and uh, it's it's definitely a handy rig I would recommend it I really like it and uh, anyway let us know what's what you know if you have one or if you want to get one so uh, like subscribe share hit the bell for more uh, videos to come and uh, talk to you again soon. Thanks for stopping by.